Hello, Movadi family. Welcome, welcome to your 45-minute Pilates class. My name is Natasha. So this is definitely a core workout. We're working those muscles in the core, all of them. So those muscles go all the way from about here to here. The first thing we are going to do is come onto our mats and start to engage our pelvic floor. So coming down onto your mat, I want you to place your feet about hip distance apart. And as you come down, start to think about pulling your pelvic floor up. So you're going to pull it up from the basement all the way to the crown of the head as if there's a string pulling it up. Almost like an elevator or drinking a straw through a smoothie. So pull that pelvic floor up from the basement to the top. Then you're going to button yourself up. So I'm just going to come up for a second. You're going to stay exactly where you are. But you're going to think about pulling your pubic bone to tailbone, your lower belly to lower back, belly button to spine. Setting that up, imagine that you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans or you've got a girdle. The next thing I want you to do is think about buttoning the front of your midline chest, the back, and then the sternum to the chest. So once you've got all those press points pulled together, you've got your pelvic floor pulled up, I want you to start thinking about your breath. So we want to make sure that we're using our breath throughout our workout today. We're going to stack the right knee and then the left knee. Pull that lower belly to lower back and then start to focus on our breath as we inhale and exhale to drop that down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale the other side. Inhale, come back up. So keep on working on that powder of inhaling, coming up, exhaling, coming down. You want to do about six to 10 reps while maintaining that pelvic floor being pulled up and keeping those press points buttoned together. So two more, good. And then bring that down to the ground. Come back and reset. So in this reset position, pulling those shoulders back and down. Again, pull up the pelvic floor. Think about pulling low belly to low back and those press points together. Stack the knees again. Pull that lower back or imprint that back to the mat. This time, let's bring the fingertips to the ceiling. Draw the shoulders back and down. And again, keeping your fingers to the ceiling, can you start to drop those heels with that exhale? and bring it back up, inhale. So right now we are warming up, just waking up those muscles, focusing on our breath and the controllability of this. That's it. And again, going for six to 10. If you start to feel that you're losing that connection, then simply reset. Meet us back here, or just bring your feet back down and pause and reset and join us on the next set. All right, so we're gonna do one more where we take those fingertips to the ceiling, we stack those knees, and we start to extend one leg and the, uh, and the arm. So you're gonna extend one arm out, one leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. So reaching, bring it back to center, reaching, Bringing it back to center. You got this, my body family. Oh my goodness, you are so much stronger than you believe. Oh, keep going. Keep going, reaching out and in. Good, and then Bring everything back down, readjust, reset. We're gonna start to work on our curls. So, when we come into those curls, we wanna think about bringing the ribs to the hips. So you wanna make that connection of peeling up your upper body and connecting the bottom of the ribs to the top of the hips. You can bring those fingertips to temples or you can interlace the fingers, bring them back behind the head and rest your head as if you're resting it in a hammock. Bring those elbows out to the side. Soles of the feet meet the earth. And then coming up, lift up, come back down. So think about inhaling at the bottom and exhaling as you lift. So you can look just 
straight ahead of you, kind of looking between your knees as you lift. Inhaling, exhaling as you lift. You can keep those fingertips at temple. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Thinking about bringing those ribs to the hips. Let's do one more together. Beautiful. And then come back down. From here, we're going to stack the knees like we did in the beginning. So stack them over the hips. Push them away from you a little bit. And then draw those fingertips either to the temples or interlace the fingers and place them behind the head as you lift and come back down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale to lift. Ready? And exhale, coming down. Come on up. And down. You got this. Pull that lower belly to lower back. Good. One more. Good. And then come on down. Amazing. One more version or option is to take your feet up. Bring them straight up. Draw them down towards the wall in front of you just ever so slightly. Now you're in charge of this lever. If it feels better to keep them here and you feel like you've got that connection, then leave them here. If it felt better to have them stacked, then stack them. If it felt better to have them flat on the ground, then keep them flat. Your workout, your option. Here we go. We lift. Coming back down on that inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep focusing on that breath. Use your breath. Good work, everybody. Last two. Last one. And then come on down. All right, you can give yourself a little hug. You can stretch your fingers over your head and reach your toes out. Take the stretch that feels best for you as we come into our next move. So for our next one, we're going to come up, we're going to take a little twist. So we're going to start to work the muscles along the side of the body, those oblique muscles. So as we come up, we're going to lift up, we're going to twist to the side, come back to center, come down. Up, twist, center, down. Movadi family, I want you to imagine that you are just making a lane change and you are just checking your side mirror. So inhale in the center, exhale to lift. Think about checking that side mirror. Good. And come down. Good. So it's not a big lift. It's as if you're taking that top rib over to that bottom hip. And when you come up to do that check, you don't want to make too much of a twist. All right. We're going to do exactly what we did last round. We're going to stack those knees this round. Fingertips to temples or interlace and rest your head. If you are resting that head, it's like it's a hammock and we're just resting. We're not pulling our head up. We're simply using our hands to rest our head. Come back to center. Come up. Take that twist. Center. You can come all the way down or if you'd like a little bit more, you can stay up in the middle. So take that exhale, center. There we go. Last two, everybody. Here we go. One and two. Come on down. All right, we have one more version or option, and that is those legs up. So taking the legs up. You got it. Drop them down. Lift yourself up. Upper body comes up. We come up. We twist. Center. Come down. Up. Twist. Center, down, up, twist, center, down. Oh, yes. Amazing. That's what you all are. Last two. Last one. Come on down. Good. All right. So we're going to just go into our next exercise, which is our hundreds. So again, we're going to peel that body up. We're going to keep those feet flat on the ground. 
you're gonna peel your upper body up and as you come up, you're gonna bring your hands down alongside your body. In this position, you're gonna start to pulse your hands. And we're gonna do little pulses and as we do, we're gonna take a breath in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out keep going and out in and out in and out again and out last set we go in and out and then roll yourself back down so again you're making that rib to hip connection so just like we did in the first two sets you can stack those knees up over the hips just like this and lift yourself up and as you do you lift up peel up and then you start to pulse those hands as if you're pushing in mud so coming in breathing out inhale and exhale inhale and exhale now if this is hurting your neck bring one hand back support your neck inhale that's it and exhale inhale 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 and exhale last set inhale and exhale come on back down you can bring those knees in and give them a hug we've got one more we're going to take those legs up to the ceiling so those legs come up we drop them down we peel ourselves up and we pulse for that inhale and exhale Mobati family you are doing great inhale and exhale 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 three more rounds we go inhale and exhale inhale and exhale keep smiling inhale and exhale draw those knees in oh nicely done all right let's start with some twists here so we are going to again take your knees and stack them up over your hips push them towards the wall in front of you a little bit pull that pelvic floor pull that low belly to low back that belly button is fine and that cubic bone is Take the palms out to the side. Glue your knees together as if somebody's put super glue on them. And then from here, roll the shoulders back and down, away from yours. You're gonna take a little slight tip to the side. Come back to center. Tip to the side. So when we roll to the side, the bottom hip stays on the ground. Keep going with that little tip over to the side and come back up. You wanna control it with your breath. So exhale to twist. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale. Inhale. Let's do two more. One. And then that last one. Good. And then come back and reset. So pull that pelvic floor up. Pull that low belly to low back. That is your powerhouse, my body family. Alright, so from here, you're going to stack those knees again, and this time, you're going to extend the top leg. So as you take the twist and you go to the side, you extend the top leg towards the corner of the room. Come back to the center. Take that little twist. Come back to the center. Take that twist. Come back to center. Take that twist. Come back to center. Take that twist. Come back to center. Twist it over. Come back to center. You got this. 
The last one coming up right here. Now, for our last one, you can stick with either one of those options. Or you can extend those legs up and go into what we call pendulum. So take your legs up, drop them down, and then drop them to the side. That bottom hip stays on the ground. Bottom hip stays down. Keep going. Oh, relax those shoulders away from your ears. flat on the ground, pull that lower belly down, pull that pelvic floor up, extend your right foot up to the ceiling, and as you do, I want you to drop it out to the side, so dropping that leg out, bringing it back in, drop it out, bring it back in, so you're squeezing that inner thigh, those adductor muscles, as you come back in, squeeze. You can point your toe as you go out, flex it as you come back in. Point the toe and flex it. Point the toe and flex it. Nice work. Keep going for two more. Remembering always, you can always stop and reset. Good. Bring that foot down and then we'll go over to the left hand side. Work out, you can point and flex as you come back in. Point the toe out, flex as you come back in. Point and flex. Keep going, point and flex. And flex. Point. back into the center. We're going to take both legs up this time, or you can stick with that first option. Drop your legs towards the wall in front of you. Pull that pelvic floor up, that low belly to go back. Take one leg out, squeeze it back in. One leg out, squeeze it back in. That's it, that's it. Practice that point and flex, or you can just keep the foot neutral. You need to come back in. That's it. And then as you come back to the center, you can bend your knees, take a little break, extend again, and go to the left side. Good work. So you want to keep that low belly pulled down. Allow the work to come from the low belly muscles. Pull that back down towards the mat. You're getting a little shaky. One more. Good. Draw those knees in. Extend the legs up again. Drop them towards the ceiling. And let's try to, again, find that low belly, low back connection as you drive the legs out. Squeeze them back in. As you drive them out, it's just a little deep. So your legs are not going wider than your mat. In fact, your knees are kind of stacking over your mat. Squeezing back in. Go in. Two more. One more. And then draw those knees in. That's it. All right, from here, I'm going to ask you to just take your fingers behind your knees. You're going to just rock and roll yourself up, coming up and over onto your knees. So grab some water if you need it. You're going to take yourself into a tabletop position. So with those wrists under shoulders and those knees under hips, 
You want to stack yourself in this position. Tops of the feet meet the earth. Before we start working in this position, we're gonna just take the fingertips out to the side, just rocking side to side. Maybe take some movement. Just a little bit of something, just to stretch out the wrist before we get going. All right, you can take them, you can face your fingertips back towards your knees. And then rock back, lift your palms up off the mat, that's it. And then come back down. Good. Again, take those fingertips back. One more. And then turn your fingers to the front of the room. Draw those shoulders back and down. Good. All right, drawing the shoulders back and down. We're gonna actually start to work some muscles in the glutes or in deep in the buttocks. So what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna lift one leg back. So you're gonna stretch the leg back. Try to keep your hips pointing down to the mat. So thinking about your hips being like headlights, pointing down. Flex the toes down towards the mat. And then we're gonna just do a little tiny lift. So it's as if the sole of the foot was painting brush strokes on the wall behind us. Draw your shoulders back and down. Pull that pelvic floor up for another three, two, one. With that same leg, point the toe, and this time paint those brush strokes up and down. Good. Find your stability in this. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Pull your shoulders back and down. Good. And now from here, you're going to take that knee and bend it, and you're going to tap it down behind. Come back up. Tap it down. Like you're doing a little curtsy. Now, if it bothers your knees to be on your mat, you can always roll up your mat. Put a towel under your knees. Give yourself a little bit of stability under there. One more. And then our final one. Take that knee, bend it. Flatten out your foot so the sole of your foot is to the ceiling and do little pulses up to the ceiling. Little pulses. Pulses. You got it. Keep finding your breath and hear that. And good. Bring that knee down. Take a little stretch back. We'll move over to the other side. So stacking those knees. Good. Drawing that leg back. Sole of the foot goes back and we lift. That's it. That's it, you got this. Keep going. Now, turn those toes as if you're painting on the wall behind you. So we wanna feel those muscles deep in the buttocks. And now bend that knee and do that little curtsy behind. Just tapping the knee in behind, just a little curtsy. Going the last few here. And then we're going to do that kick up to the ceiling. Here we go. Kick it up. Pull that lower belly back to the spine. Shoulders back and down. Nice. And then take that stretch back. Good. All right. We have got one more of those. One more set on each side. We're gonna change one move on our curtsy. So we're gonna take that leg out still, take that foot flat against the wall behind you, the toes are pointing down, and lift. Shoulders back and down. Point the toes. got this. Movadi family, you have got this. Okay, so now instead of bending the knee, 
you're going to take that foot out to the side and then draw it up and over. So it's as if you're making a little rainbow. Oh, that's it. You can always take it back to the curtsy if that feels right for your body. We have three more here. Three, two, and the last one. Bend that knee and then kick that foot up to the ceiling. Nice. And then draw that knee down. Take a stretch in between. Good. All right, coming into the other side. So toes down. Good work. Shoulders back and down. You got this. You got this. Now to point those toes like you're painting on the wall behind you. Use your foot to do those brush strokes. Like it's intricate work. Yes, yes. And then take that foot out to the side this time. Draw it over in that rainbow. Try to keep those hips pointing down to the mat. Try to make the movement just really coming out of the foot and that those muscles deep in the buttocks rather than your whole body shifting. Four more here. Excellent. Bend that knee. Kick it up. more and then take that back all right we're gonna walk ourselves forward coming onto our front so as we do take your hands down to the mat you're gonna stack them and then stack your forehead on your hands as we do this I'm just gonna lift my head up for a second as we do this I want you to think about squeezing into your upper back so when you lift up, your neck stays in line with your spine. Tops of the feet are on the mat. We're not lifting our legs yet, so think about pulling that pelvic floor up. Think about pulling that low belly to low back, belly button to spine. And when you lift, your hands come up and your head stays on your hands. Lift up, squeeze into the upper back. Inhale back down. Exhale as you lift. Squeeze into the upper back. Lift up and squeeze. Up and squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze into the upper pack. So bring your shoulder blades together. Last one. Now, keep the upper body down, head stays down. Lift your thighs up this time. So think about squeezing the muscles deep in the buttocks, the ones we just worked. Lift the thighs, come back down. Lift the thighs. Everything else stays down. Inhale as you come down. Exhale as you lift. Inhale, that's it. One more, good. Now, you can stick with just the upper half just the o lower half, or you can combine. Think about pulling that pelvic floor up. Think about pulling that lower belly to lower back. And lift, come back down. Lift, come back down. Lift, come back down. Squeeze the muscles deep in your buttocks. Pull the lower belly to lower back. Pull the pelvic floor up. Inhaling as you're coming down. Exhaling to lift. And one more. Beautiful. Push yourself back. Take a little stretch here. So draw the knees out. Walk your hands forward, coming into a bit of a shell stretch here. Grab water if you need it, and I will meet you in seated. So
So when we come into the seated position, what we want to do is take the soles of our feet to the mat. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then think about finding your sits bones, those bones that are just down at the base of our pelvis. Okay, so just kind of, sometimes you just have to move around to find that you're sitting on them. Then roll those shoulders back and down. Lift up that chest. Feet are hip distance apart. So from here, what we're gonna do is just practice lifting one foot and then the other. All right, so lifting one foot and then the other. Just practicing that lift. 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 Keeping that chest proud, you got this. Now, from here, you can hold one foot up, bring the other foot to join it, and then switch. And then switch. So bring the other foot to join you, and then switch. Finding your balance in this pose, or in this posture. Here we go. Shoulders back and down. The fingers on the back of the knee, or the hands out. You're gonna choose. You might start to shake. That's a good thing. I like the shake. And then come to center with this. Let's keep both feet up. Feet can be, on, our hands can be on the back of the knees. You can open up your hands. You got this. Can you hold it? Or do you need to tap the foot down? Choose what works for your body or put the hands behind your knees. Roll your shoulders back and down. That's it. For five, four, three, two, one. Come on down, come forward, take a little stretch. We're gonna come into that again with our feet flat on the ground, soles of the feet down. So, you're gonna roll those shoulders back and down. You're gonna take your hands to face in, palms facing in, come back, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little twist to the side. So, in this, pos this position, you're gonna just twist, touch just beside you. So it's a nice little twist, come back to center. Take the twist to the other side. Come back to center, twist, center, twist, center, twist, center. Thinking about inhaling, exhaling. Again, firing up those muscles along the side of the body, coming back to center. This time we're gonna go a little further, so you're gonna reach for the back corner. So you're gonna exhale, come back to center. Exhale, come back to center. following your arm in this position. Good. Good, last two. Nice, and come back to center. Again, take that stretch. All right, my body family, few more here. So from here, we're gonna sit up and find those sits bones again. We're gonna draw those shoulders back and down. And then you're gonna lean back to what I like to call your edge. You're gonna find your edge. So that spot where you can start to feel maybe a little shake, maybe a little bit of tension in that lower abdominal area. Go back a little further and then come up. So bring the palms into face. So it's a little tiny pulse in and out. Shoulders back and down. We go up and up. Down and up and down. And then can you hang out there for just five, four, three, two, one. Come up, bring your arms out as if you were holding onto a giant beach ball and come back and up. Oh my goodness, here come the shakes. I like to call these the sewing machine. Woo, little shake, shake, shake. And then this time when we come back, we're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one, come up, bring those arms up overhead and come back and up. Just that little tiny bit. And yes, there's some shaking. That's okay. It's good for us. Keep smiling. Pull that low belly to low back. And now hold it back for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And then come up, take the stretch, bring the soles of your feet together. 
take a little stretch, and then come all the way down. So soles of the feet meet the earth. You're gonna come all the way down as slowly as possible. So slow, 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 slow. And once you arrive, you give yourself a little hug. Good. All right, from here, we're gonna take those legs up to the ceiling. And we're gonna do some leg extensions. So you can keep your upper body on the ground for this first round. You're gonna take a big inhale and then drop one leg. Bring it back up to the center. Drop the other leg. Bring it back to center. So think about exhaling, inhaling back up. and then draw those knees in. Take what you need. Now, if that was really great and it worked really well for you, what you can do is peel your upper body up for the second round. You can do a couple of things here. You could have your arms out to the side as you drop those legs, or you can hold on to the back of the legs. So it could look like this. You could hold, go down, little drop, little drop, little drop. And hold on to the back of the leg. Keep going. Keep going. Shoulders back and down, and it's just a little peel. You're just up a little bit. Good, and then draw those knees in. All right, we're gonna try that with both legs. So, again, you can always come back to one of those other options. With everything on the ground, you drop down. You bring it back up. This may not be a very big movement because you will start to lose your connection with that low belly and the back. Your back may even start to lift off the mat. So you're in charge of the fever. You can always do it here. Bring it back in. Bend your knees. Listen to your body and do what works for you. Couple more. One more. Draw those knees in. Amazing. All right. Last exercise and then we stretch. Lifting that upper body, if you would like, or you keep yourself down on that mat. You drop the leg. You come back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back up. Check in. Is that low belly pull down? Can you do two? Can you do one? Draw the knees in. Oh, give yourself the biggest hug. And then extend that left leg as you bring that right leg into your chest. From here, take the hand to the knee. Take the opposite hand onto the other hip and do some circles. Come the other way. Again, switch legs, draw the other knee in, draw circles. Hand can be on the opposite, on the same hip. Or the leg that's out, that hand is on that hip. And then go the other way. Great work today. Oh, my body family. Awesome job. Knees in. Take your knees and drop them down to the right hand side as you do. Take your arms out, take a nice twist here. Take your gaze over the opposite arm, if that works for you. If you want a little bit more, you can extend that top leg. Really great job. Be so proud of yourself. Draw that knee in. Come back to the center. Give yourself that hug. Drop the knees to the opposite side. Gaze over the shoulder. And then again, you can extend that leg if that works for you. Feel that stretch. Different spot, so maybe in your IT band if that's quite tight for you. Take your gaze back to center, then the knee back in. Draw the soles of the feet to the earth. 
Good. We're going to take a little hip stretch here. So you're going to cross right ankle to right knee. And just a gentle press on that inner thigh. You got it. Open up those hips. and roll yourself up again. Swing your legs around. Come into that shell stretch that we did earlier where you draw your knees out, you walk your hands forward. Stretch out the upper back. Bring your head to the mat if that feels good. Pause here. Take a few breaths. Slowly walk your hands over to the right hand side. So you can take your right, your left hand and tent it over your right. Shift your hips to the opposite corner. That nice stretch in the upper back, across the shoulders. Come back to center and we'll go the other way. And then as you walk yourself back to center, if this is available to you, curl your toes under, walk yourself back and walk yourself up. Come up one vertebrae at a time. Otherwise, I will meet you at the top, however it works best for you to get there. And then once you get to the top, take your feet nice and wide. Take your arms out. Beautiful chest opener stretch. Open up, open up. We'll take a big inhale, and as we do, drop the right hand out to the side. Reach out, and then tilt your left ear down to your left shoulder. Just drape your left hand over your head. Stretch out the neck. Come back to center. Take that big inhale. And as you do, reach the opposite hand out. Reach. Take a few breaths here. Come back to center. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. And then this time, as you bring your hands up over your head, I want you to take your hands up like you just won a race because you did. You showed up, you did the workout, good for you. And then bring your hands in behind. Open up into superhero pose. You are all superheroes, each and every one of you. I always like to live you with a positive message. So Mobody Fitness family, remember that kindness is absolutely free. You can sprinkle that stuff everywhere. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking the time to work out with me. My name is Natasha, and this was your Pilates. Have a great day.